Hey guys, welcome back to Life Happens. We are here today at Damaris. It's a Western style buffet restaurant and it's in a shopping mall. Where it's located is right here for you guys. You guys can look that up on Google Maps and you'll find where it is. It's Damaris, uh, D apostrophe, M-A-R-I-S. Like I said, it's a European, uh, Japanese style, but uh, let's go have a look at what they have to offer. So yeah, it looks like the selection here is actually quite good. There's a lot to choose from. But we have your general vegetables here. And there seems to be a lot of stuff that's in its own little container that you take back to the table. But I'm gonna try to take it slow. I don't know what these are called because none of it is labeled. But I think uh, if I go slow enough, you guys can kind of see what it is. I will be tasting all this right as soon as we're done here. <clears throat> a lot of local fruit selection as well normally this i didn't think you could like easily pick this stuff off yourself i don't know are those cranberries they kind of look like cranberries which is an odd selection if it is Uh, an assortment of fruit juices, none of which is labeled, so I have no idea what they are. And they are, and they are fresh. Like, here's where they make the sugar cane. It's actually completely fresh. And they work really hard on the presentation here. Like, if you look here, that's kimchi. It's stacked up extremely nicely. That's, that's some dedication to detail. It's not just strewn in there. And we're not done yet. <laughs> Sorry guys, that was the song that came up. And seafood. They took away the prawns or the giant prawns. <laughs> oh, they're cleaning it out and putting more. Okay. I, I see what they're doing. Man. Oh, Chinese food over here. 
fried rice. Well, it's empty, but fried rice, dim sum. Crocodile ribs. Oh, I have got to try that. Grilled chicken. A little ordinary. Yeah, this place is huge. There is a lot of selection to choose from. Ooh, fried and baked, I think. Oh, you can make your own noodles. You can make your own noodles right here. But that is the general selection, guys. But I have a plate already. I did not get the crocodile, which I absolutely should. But uh, let's see how everything tastes. Let's see. But this is kind of the plate I got so far. It's a very bit of assortments. Uh, two types of crab. The sashimi salmon. Vegetable chips. The mussels. Some of the kimchi. And mystery fried item. I have no idea what that is, but uh, let's have a look. And one of the special things here is that it seems to be Korean style with the chopsticks. You get metal chopsticks. And they are thin. They're actually not equal on every side. It's not circular chopsticks. But uh let, let's have a taste. Let's let's start with the mystery stuff. Let's start with Ashley. This is very difficult with one hand. I have to figure a better way to hold it. Okay. Okay. That's a fried pork. Fried pork cutlet. Thinly sliced on its own tray. And I am sorry guys, but doing this with one hand I had to flip the camera backwards and I cannot see the screen at all, so I'm not sure if I'm centered or not. Probably not, but you guys can, I assume, see it a little bit in general. Nope, nope, nope. What's the camera doing? What's, what's the gimbal doing? Hmm. So, it seems like the stuff in the trays, it's not as fresh. Probably not a lot of people pick it up and it's been there for a little while. But, you know, for a lot of these places, you can tell how fresh things are based on anything that's raw. So we're gonna go with the sashimi salmon here. So let's see how good that is. They actually slice it really, really thin. A lot thinner than what I'm used to. But because of that, the, uh, the slices of muscle, they kind of flake apart. It's actually white tender. It's, it just falls apart, really. It's, it's not bad. It's, uh, that's actually quite good because it's not just, there's a bit of seasoning on it. It's like an, it's like an onion oil seasoning on it. That's pretty good. Now, there are a lot of different ways to do kimchi. Some of them at most restaurants, especially the ones that make it in-house, the kimchi there is kind of not very sour. It's mostly salty because that's how, that's how it starts out. But for kimchi that's been uh, fermenting for, let's say a week or two, um, it becomes pretty sour, which I prefer actually. I like a, a good aged kimchi. So let's see how long they, they did this one. Almost no hint of sourness whatsoever. It's a 
it's actually very lightly seasoned it's not too salty it's not bad by any means i'm just i just prefer a more sour kimchi let's see let's actually try this uh this crab or one of them at least so i did get the crab with the sauces so this is gonna be messy this 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 is just gonna no there's no choice Holy crap. Is this like a barbecue baked crab or something? This is like a, it's almost like a Asian barbecue sauce. But the crab is, um, it's cooked actually quite well because um, the shell is actually quite soft so you can just well, for most Asian people, we're we're used to just biting biting that off. Like, like for a lot of us, we just eat when we eat shrimp, we just kind of eat the whole thing instead of peeling it. But uh, you know, a lot of us being lactose intolerant, we need the calcium somehow. But uh, yeah, I, I'd say it's pretty good. Um, really, you, the the items will probably be a lot fresher um, during busy hour. We're here at like before four o'clock so the crowd hasn't even started yet but you know i can understand if things are a little bit slower food wise a lot some of it has been uh, laid out but i did see that um when i was walking by when we saw the shrimp but like the the small prawns but they had the, the big prawns there um the guy actually took that away to get more of it even though it wasn't empty so it does look like they do change things out even if it's not empty so in general I would assume that the, uh, the food quality here is actually not not bad. Yeah, for the price though, like it's for the dinner price, it's about you know 500k per per person. So it's it's quite up there on the pricey end. Um, you know, I, I can't say for sure. I have to get a couple of more dishes out, but uh, so far I say it's you know average. But you know, we'll we'll try some of the other stuff. Okay guys, on to plate two. I think I tried to get some some interesting items here. Let's see things that you wouldn't expect. So I found Chinese dim sum that is purple. But let's see how different it is. So the purple Chinese dim sum is a. Uh, it really does taste like a dessert dim sum. It's it's quite sweet. That's that's actually pretty good. This looks like it's just a mash of uh, random fried vegetables in batter. I don't know how fresh it is. Don't know how crunchy it is, but let's see. Okay, so. This is quite old. Yeah, it's like, it's not crunchy, it's hard. <laughs> I like guess it's hard and chewy and then it's soft on the inside. So it's pretty old. But let's try, okay. I don't think anyone on the internet is gonna be able to guess what this is. Well, unless you managed to read what it said before, if you noticed it, but. This is jellyfish. Or at least, I think it is. According to the signs it is, but let's see how that is. It's like a, yeah, you get a bit of a crunch to it, which is actually very similar to this item, which is uh, pig's ears. You kind of get the same, the same crunch from the pig's ears as you do from the jellyfish. I think the jellyfish is crunchier. 
You said it was bitter? Oh yeah, it is. Once I got the pig's ears out. Cause that, that was sour. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah, that's. It's like, if you really pay attention to the jellyfish, like once you start chewing it up, it starts to become like gritty, like sand and it, and it becomes bitter. I don't know if that's normal. That is a weird transition of textures and flavors. Let's 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 try the uh, the pork here. Now, in theory, if this is good, this should be really really tender. It should be you should be able to bite into it really easily. It should fall apart. And it's not quite there. So the the fat has been rendered pretty well. It's pre uh, the fat is pretty f tender and the skin is as well, but the meat portion of it, it's a little dry. It's it's, it's probably been sitting there for a little while. But this is the uh, grilled salmon. Oh wait, no, never mind. Sorry about that. Grilled tuna. It looks like with buffalo sauce, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Is it? I saw this was grilled tuna. Does tuna turn white? Tuna or not. I thought it said tuna. It said tuna. Yeah, it said tuna. But when you eat it, not. I didn't know. I didn't know it was this color. It's like sea bass. I think sea bass. This is probably not tuna. Yeah. I think it's I, sea bass. So, so we're th she's thinking it's sea bass, which very well could be. But this is not tuna. It's it's labeled as tuna, but yeah, that's that's not tuna at all. Now there is a bit of a theme with all this. Um, things are a little dry. A lot of the stuff here is a little dry. Let's try the tuna the, or no, the salmon salad. Let's see how how that is. So the salmon salad is not as good as the sashimi salmon. That one was more tender. This one, I, I would recommend just getting the salmon by itself. And then the stuffed clams. I cannot do this one-handed with chopsticks. Okay, let's. Okay, th this will work. This will work. <laughs> nope, nope, not working. Nope, nope. Okay. Okay. What one, one handed with chopsticks? That is actually. There's no flavor. There is no flavor. I there's a hint of like onion, but that's. The thing is, it, it should be okay on its own, though. It, you don't have to. You shouldn't have to have the sauce. If you're gonna serve it separately, it should be okay without the sauce. Yeah, but right here is maybe it's not that. <laughs> but.
think of like a a clam a clam salsa a clam salsa with less lemon it's more salty than than uh salt but uh yeah it's actually pretty flavorless ironically the best thing on here is the chinese dim sum and it doesn't even taste chinese it just it just tastes like dessert <laughs> but that is the best thing here well on this plate yeah it's like a sweet sweet purple sweet potato um, dim sum yeah definitely recommend that but quite honestly like all the other items here I'm not sure it's no you can you can get better street food than this and you could get street food for a week for for what you're paying here so I don't like doing this but this is not on my recommended list it looks really nice though they make everything look really nice Oh, but one thing you guys have to notice, or know, as I was walking by uh, to get this second plate, apparently the employees here are not very happy. It's like they were, like the, the cooks back there were yelling at each other. So, I'm going to have to assume it's not the best working environment. And quite honestly, it, it, it shows in the food. I mean, I'm glad that no one working here, like, is really close to me and knows well English, English very well, so. Man, when you're, when you're reviewing a really bad restaurant, it's just so much easier to do it in another country that doesn't know English. <laughs> that should be a channel, just go to countries where they don't know English very well and just review really bad restaurants. <laughs> But yes, this place is, uh, eh. under normal pricing conditions, if it was half the price, I would call it mediocre. But for this price, I would have to call it bad. Like, the food itself is mediocre, but when you're paying this much for it, over 500k per person, I'd have to call this bad. But there were a couple of items that uh, both of us liked. And uh, on this one, what'd you say this was? Mushroom soup. Mushroom soup. But, yeah, but it, it has like a, a bread topping on it. Like a, if you know from, I don't know if it's a South Southern thing or not, but like a popovers, um, like muffins that get really, really big and pop over the top. That's kind of what it looked like from at the beginning where the muffin was all over the soup. So I think that's pretty that's pretty nice and pretty ingenious way to do soup. You get you get the bread on top as part of it and you have to break through the bread to get to the soup. You said it was pretty good. Now here's the thing. No 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 here's the thing, okay? I think there's a reason why it was good it was because it wasn't up there. It wasn't available. And they had to make it. They had to make it for you. Uh -huh. so it's really fresh. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's like new. <laughs> yeah, it's it is like new. So. So. It yeah. So my recommendation, guys, um, if you don't want, if you know, you can do it without people seeing you. Um, throw everything out so they can make it new. <laughs> I mean, if if you want fresh food. I mean, <laughs> That's, that's the way you're gonna do it. Oh wait, I have to, uh, I have to get all the drinks. I have to, okay guys, let me, let me go get up there and get all the drinks. It's gonna take a lot of hands. Okay, I am actually really, really sorry guys. Um, apparently, everything I've shown you so far is 
only like 60% of the restaurant. Apparently there were, there's more food behind where we were sitting. So uh, I'm gonna be showing you that now. So let's see what they've got. Oh, this is Japanese, miso soup, clam soup. Oh, steamed fish. Oh man. This looks promising. This looks really, really promising. Oh man. The Japanese side looks really promising. Cold soba. Tuna sashimi. Salmon sashimi. Mixed raw seafood. Individual trays. Actually, this may be a lot better than the other side. The uh, more European side. The Asian side looks nice. So, they're actually, uh, looks like they're actually clearing things out a little bit. They might be making... Oh, they are making more. Okay. Man, that's great. Okay, they're putting out more stuff right now. That's amazing. Grilled fish soup. I don't know what Sunday means. I'm gonna have to get that. Just because. And then just some toppings. With quail eggs. They have quail eggs here, which is nice. But uh, let me get... Let me put this down and get a plate. Let's see what all this stuff is about. Okay, guys. This is the Japanese plate. That I did not know exist till just now, apparently. So, I tried to get some of the more interesting products. Because there's no... There's very little reason to just try out the ordinary stuff that you, well, to be fair, I did get the sashimi because that'll determine how good this stuff kind of is, but let's start with this interesting looking thing. I don't know what this is. It's, it doesn't look like a blood sausage, that's the problem. It looks chunky, scaly. So let's see what this tastes like. Okay, good. It is not a blood sausage. It's like a... Huh. gelatin -y. But it uses an actual casing on it. That's, I've never had anything like that before. I don't know, is this squiddy? Is this gelatin with squidding in a sausage casing? I have no idea. I can't put my finger on it. It tastes... It doesn't have a whole lot of taste. It's somewhat bland, so I can't really describe it too well. But the reason I got the sashimi, even though it is ordinary, it's a good determination of how good the rest of it is. Though by the looks of it, it doesn't look like it's uh, cut artistically by any means compared to what it could be. And if you look at the tuna, the tuna looks kind of okay on camera, but the tuna is not as vibrant as it is on camera. It's actually a little blander looking color-wise. But let's see how that tastes like. Okay, so the tuna have been frozen, not flash frozen, normal frozen. It's a, uh, the meat fibers are a little bit gritty. So not the freshest thing, but 
maybe the salmon will be better? I highly doubt it. Yeah. The salmon has a... It's a very light hint, but a very light hint of an off flavor. It doesn't taste like your, your normal run-of-the-mill salmon. Yeah, the uh, sashimi is uh, not all that fresh. Let's, uh, let's try this tofu, tofu casing rice. Is that rice? Let's see what that is. Okay. The tofu is not bad. It's, wow, it's quite sweet. I thought it was going to be more savory, but the tofu one is actually quite sweet. I was not expecting that. It's not bad, but it's a little too sweet for my taste. I was not expecting it. But let's try, a, let's try the octopus roll. Okay, the octopus is really old. Really, really, really old. Sorry guys, but I want to be chewing this for a month. This is not normal of octopus. I'm I don't know what to do here. Well, if the salmon wasn't great, I don't have high hopes for the salmon roll. But, uh, you know, needs must. Salmon is the same. Not great, but because it had so many toppings on it, it made it a little bit better. The onions helped cut out the uh, the old salmon flavor. But let's have a look at the the squid. We went from octopus to squid. I have higher hopes for this one because this one should be a lot more tender in dairy. Okay, this squid is a lot better than the octopus, actually. Well, okay, they, they actually pre-seasoned it with wasabi. That's what I was tasting. There was actually wasabi already in it, so it's a bit spicy. I should probably use a spoon for this. Well, actually, let's, let's do the shrimp roll first before I pick up a spoon. Oh, no. Uh-uh. The rice roll part of it is pretty hard. It feels old. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Not, not fresh. Not fresh at all. Let's go to the spoon now. Let's see how what the rest of this is like. That is an enormous spoon. The individual dish plates are about the same size as the spoon. I think this was the, the raw octopus or squid. I 
feels like, oh my god. It feels like every ingredient in that thing was meant to be bitter. Everything there was bitter. Every ingredient. I don't know how. Oh my god. What did they do? What did I eat? Mm. Okay. I was gonna save this later, but we have fruit drinks. I don't know what they are. None of them were labeled. I assume this one is orange juice. And I don't know if those other two yellow ones are the same, but they were separated. They were in two different areas. They look exactly the same, but they were separated. So maybe they're different? Let's, let's, let's try this back to back. Now do you say this is aloe? Uh, it's like nyang. I know, but the flavor is kind of like it. It has something else in it. It doesn't taste like just aloe. Yeah, I mean the flesh. Yeah, the, the flesh is aloe, but the juice may be something else. That's why I say the pants. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, this is weird, but none of it tastes like what it should taste like, even when you assume what it should taste like. So uh, you know, oh yeah, I haven't tried these yet, I needed to get that bitterness out of my mouth, so I don't know how to eat this. Okay. I have to get something out of my teeth because I just bit the claw. So apparently this really nice little tray here, they didn't break it already. I have to break it myself. Norm normally they like half peel it so that you can just eat it. But this is completely intact. So... I'm not doing that one-handed. No, no. I'm not reviewing that. <laughs> that, that should have been open. So. You know what? This is tiny. This is a spoon now. So this is a spoon, okay? What's that? Ah, oh, what was that fruit? That was a weird, that was a weird fruit that they had there, but it was a little sweet, but it was mostly flavorless. Oh, was that a, was that like an Asian fig? This is a lot smaller than what we have in America, but it tasted like a fig. But other than the fig, everything else in that tray was pretty flavorless. So uh, let's, they can't ruin egg, can they? Can they ruin egg? Let's see. So uh, I don't know if this is traditional or not, but there is no salt. It's. It's just like a bland egg. But it's kind of like sweet. Where does it come from? It's kind of like sweet. Is that from the seaweed? Is it sweet from the seaweed? Yeah, I think so. But there's like no salt. It's yeah, just, I it just tastes they, like... Yeah. I don't think they taste it like So I'm not an expert on uh, 
Japanese dishes, but I don't know if that was supposed to have salt or not. But uh, in this scenario, it did not. So that's what we're gonna take it as. A, uh, that's just pretty much just egg with a little bit of seaweed, essentially. You know, when, when you told me that there was another side, and then I saw, holy crap, this looks really good. It looks, it's Japanese. I'm like, this has got to be a lot better than the uh, European side. So now, now what do you think? Well, the salmon sashimi, this, the one on the um, European side is better. Because um, that one, they sliced it really thin and it fell apart, it was easy. The other one was chewier. Um, the fish was not fresh. Which was kind of weird because he was replacing the trays yeah. with, new, with new trays. <laughs> they just like put in. Yeah. Yeah, but in the new place. Yeah, but, but I took the, the, the new one. <laughs> I, I took the ones he put out. I, I saw you know him putting the old one on the new plate. Mm -hmm. But I took the new ones on the new plate. And it was still old. <laughs> you think they're not proud of you? <laughs> so, the only decent one was the, uh, the squid roll. Because the octopus was really chewy. It was old. But the squid... It wasn't chewy, at least. But, uh... Yeah, that's... Like, the, the sashimi... Is, a uh, The tuna is old and gritty, and the, the salmon is... The, the salmon is at least, like... Been in the cooler for at least three days. I don't think it's fresh. No, it's, it's not. And the thing is, like, it can be it can be frozen fresh for a long time, but the reason it's not fresh, or at least it doesn't taste so, it's because it wasn't flash frozen, or it was thawed and not frozen again for a while. So it's probably not been in the freezer, but maybe the cooler for a couple of days. So, yeah. And what I thought was a blood sausage was actually gelatin. What? I it thought I thought I thought it was blood sausage. It looks gelatin. it looks like blood sausage, but yeah. it's gelatin, and I think it might be squid ink. You know that's why it's black. I think it's squid ink, but for some reason it's gelatin. <laughs> Not only I that, thought it's blood too. yeah, I thought it was blood. But the, the, the funny thing is, it's gelatin, but it's in a real sausage casing. <laughs> they actually use intestine. Like like a real sausage, but it's not. But it, it's pretty flavorless because I think the only flavor is probably the squid ink. So it, it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor to it. It's mostly just gelatin. Yeah, this was... All of this was surprising because none of it tastes like what it should have. The orange juice did not taste like orange. The aloe, I did not know that was aloe. I've, I've drank a lot of aloe, but that did not taste like aloe. Yeah, because it's in the can. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I'm... I, I sh oh, well, yeah, that tuna wasn't tuna. No. I've never seen a whitefish tuna. <laughs> so, I don't... I don't know what to say about this place. It's just really expensive. Maybe they like they put the wrong name tag on it. Well how though? Let's do dessert. <laughs> you got the flambe? You got the How is it? Uh, normal? Not normal. Really fancy. Not really fancy. So like 2,000 blank outside <laughs> like street on the street they're gonna sell for 2,000 yeah well it's in a fancy cup <laughs> yeah. I mean you yeah, got that cup. oh no no the people who really like coffee will hate you that's they, they don't call that coffee that's, what is that espresso what espresso cup no it's not espresso 
Ah, double espresso. <laughs> That's a double espresso. <laughs> but they're gonna, they're gonna hate you. You call their favorite stuff coffee. <laughs> Man, you know people who love espresso, they can be pretty mean. Yeah. When you talk wrong about their coffee. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, we are at the Maris in a shopping center. I. I gave you the exact uh, GPS coordinates, um, but uh, since you have the exact GPS coordinates, I if you wrote it down, I recommend you immediately erase that number and uh, never come here. That's that's my that's my on honest opinion there. Um, it's for two people, it's over a, a, a million um, at about what is it, 23k per dollar right now, about. Somewhere around yeah, 20. 20 yeah, somewhere around, somewhere around there. Um, yeah, that, that's quite expensive. Like, you could eat street food for a week on, on that money. Oh, she, she's doing the calculations. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> let's see. Let's see. It's how about forty-four dollars. Okay, so twenty-two dollars a person. So yeah, in America, you can get a really, really, really nice buffet for $20. Um, obviously, it won't have this kind of selection. This is actually a really, really large selection. There's a lot of food here. Um, but it doesn't seem like anything is really made with care. It's pretty, made, yeah, pretty much just made with beauty, that's it. Everything is made to look really nice. But uh, other than that, the recipes are terrible, and the follow-through, like the cooks, yeah, that's not great either. It's like, there are some things that you just really can't mess up, and, you know, making things taste like what they look like uh, is the first step, where tuna doesn't taste like tuna, and nothing tastes like it should. Blood sausage tastes like gelatin. Um, I don't know where to go with this restaurant other than away. It's time to go away. Uh... You have a really bad review for this one. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad review. It's an honest review. Yeah, honest. The restaurant is bad, not me. I mean, yeah, it's bad for the restaurant. <laughs> but the thing is, I'm not going to hurt it that much because it's in a mall. Not a lot of people are going to come here because when you're at a mall and you're hungry, you just want something fast. You just want something cheap. No one, like a yeah. No, no one is gonna, no one is gonna come here specifically to eat an expensive meal at an expensive restaurant, especially if it's not good. So, you know, I, I highly doubt that the foot traffic is very high for this place anyway, even at the best of times. Um, but honestly, I don't think I can hurt this restaurant very much. I don't, I don't see a long line last, uh, lining up at all, so I don't think this review really matters because unless you're, uh, unless you're visiting, I'm pretty sure most of the locals already know. <laughs> Hence why most of them are not here. <laughs> but yeah, that is uh, Damaris, guys, and uh, save your money. <laughs>